Like me and Shatawali, like things happened. Percy really did something to hurt me. What? He broke up with me two weeks after I got his name tattooed on Why? Why? <laughs> there is a new podcast in town and you know what that means it means the government is finally going to get some peace of mind to relax a little bit because they have been going through a lot people have been focusing on them always bringing up important issues that they have to fix but now they can get some rest because right now everybody's talking about this Crazy. only thing he was bringing was my back <laughs> <laughs> and a fear of door is involved and so you know what that means Quasi Arthur is not going to have peace of mind tonight <laughs> did you pull date? Do we date? Yes. 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 Oh. Yes. 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 Why did I say that? I have to, it will sound like ping, ping, ping. All right, you know how we do. Let me break the whole thing down for you guys because this thing was hilarious for so many reasons. So in the beginning, they introduced themselves, all the stuff that we don't care about. But if you had not said something over there that caught my ears immediately. What really brought me to Ghana was like, I wanted to do African movies in Africa. But <laughs> I wanted to be in the, in the Beyonce. Not oh, yeah. <laughs> Listen, Beyonce, the Caribbean, the, the, everybody was watching Beyonce in America. <laughs> she wanted to be in the Beyonce movie. Now she's right. That movie was very big at the time. I think... Someone told me they showed the Beyonce movie in the UK on IMAX. But that is a crazy dream to have. And if you don't know why, then you haven't seen my video on the Beyonce movie. It will be in the pinned comments uh, to come over here or something. Check it out. You know, my mom is the type of mom that wants to tell her friends that her daughter is a doctor. She's a lawyer. My mom is the same thing. So if your career doesn't really have a name. But I'm yeah, sure you're I making mean... more money than some PhD holders. <laughs> hmm. PhD. You see, this is why people don't like you guys. This is why they don't like you guys. Influencers always have this victim thing of people don't like us. They're always talking about us. But look at what you are saying. But I'm also not her lawyer or her doctor. doctor. But I mean, I'm still making the money, so. Period. I think that's what's the most important. Yeah. 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 I'm always asking her that. Oma no me lawyers. Oma no me lawyers. Oma no Where are they? What are they doing? <laughs> what are they bringing <laughs> to the table? This thing where people who get entertainment money want to trash other people who are doing traditional jobs because they don't make as much money is crazy. Like, listen, entertainment is very important but the people who do the doctor the lawyer the engineers those people they are the ones who do the hard work that we don't want to do for the world to run the whole phd holder slander and people looking down on academics is crazy like those people do research about things that you will never know about so that your world can keep going in ways that you don't even know about yet no, no, oh, no, no, uh, what's no shade. shade to you guys. No, shout out to you guys. Yeah, yeah. Keep, I love yeah. you guys. Yeah, doing Keep a man. Uh, yeah, lie, yeah, lie. That's how you feel. Don't do that no shade. It's in. That's what they talk about in private. I don't know, please, but I would think so. <laughs> but mostly when this happens, it's not because people look down on the profession. It is a rebellion to their parents because their parents make us believe that those jobs are the only important jobs. And so when they get entertainment money, then they look down on those jobs. But not because they don't think those jobs are important. It's because they're trying to get back at their parents. So please, African parents, don't do that thing. But also children, elevate, the, elevate your mindset, okay? You do all this money thing until you get sick. Then you realize that the doctor who is not getting paid and is still there to take care of you is very, very important. <laughs> or else you will die. And then I'm a Belland or Borland for my Niger viewers, said the story of how she blew up and it gave me some motivation. Something happened in 2019, I think like a fat pussy thing where they, they posted a video from Pornhub that was me having sex. The next day I started selling. That's how I started my business. <laughs> wow. Because the followers had come. The followers had come. Yes, yes. I started selling. Hmm. So guys, I just uploaded my tip to Pornhub. You can check it out right now. Uh, check it out and then you can, you can post it on Twitter and stuff. It's me. It's, it's me. If you see the tip, it's me. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. Or in the comments so you can post that you can post it on twitter post it everywhere you understand what i'm saying um yeah now gisela told her story about how she blew up and i realized i, I was very close to that story but this whole influencing thing started just because i also had an issue on twitter where this boy cheated on me like hey, 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 let me tell you guys a story so gisela and i were actually in the same hostel in Legon. it may have been my second or third year but it was around the time where the new people were coming the fresh meat was coming to school i was walking down the stairs and then i saw this girl standing at the entrance of the hostel and the moment i saw her i said hey that's what I said. Normal reaction, because we can all see Gisela is very, very beautiful. Now she's like matured, beautiful. But back then she was like baby face, beautiful. And then I looked to the left a little bit and I saw her mom looking at me straight into the eyes. And she was giggling. But not the kind of giggle that is welcoming. Like I could tell that this woman is not to be messed with. Like she had fire in her eyes. So I walked away. Now little did I know that a little bit later, the baby face girl was going to be involved in one of the biggest Twitter controversies ever. And so fast forward to this timestamp 
if you want to hear the rest of the story, let's get back to where we are. But Fake then again, lives. people don't really respect the jobs of like influencers. They don't think influencers make so much money or like... When people don't respect influencers and content creators because most of the time, the thing that blows you up is something bad. Exhibit A. Something happened in 2019. I think like a fat pussy thing. Fat pussy. Exhibit B. Where this boy cheated on me. Like hey. you know what you Boyfriend cheating on you with a girl in Nigeria. Yeah, that's that was part of the story. We'll get to that part. Exhibit C. I'm looking for one for a fear, but for a fear, you can't pick one. Like she has one almost every month. So And I am where I am in the motherfucking Maserati. Amen. Yeah, 2024. And so people know they make a lot of money, and that is what makes them angry because they are seeing people make money when they blew up on something bad. Because everybody has been told that if you do positive things, you will succeed. One day God will bless you. You know, if you just put in the work and put positivity in the world. And you will succeed, and then they're like, okay. I'll have this 8,000 CDs. I'll say, oh, let me use 1,000 CDs and go and chop it at Eats Avenue. Period. I'm in the community. I'm in the, the village over here trying to get these children clothes, and I'm trying to do all these things, and I'm, I'm, I'm still broke. And then they come online and they see things like this. Oh, no, but me, even me if she, even if it's not her money, and somebody's, let's say, sponsoring her lifestyle, like she's such a queen for that because honestly, like those of you who are sleeping with your people, what are you getting from that? At least she lives Endo in a big me. house. Mm. Uh huh. Indo me, no, dear, best son. You see, yo, this, this is the thing I'm saying. She could have made her points without coming for people who have regular relationships based on regular income. But no, your boyfriend cannot buy you a house. He's buying you Indo. Me? But house, so it's forever. It's forever, right? It's forever. Right. Like if she's doing, like I'm not saying she is. Yeah, but, but if even she if that's was, what you're assuming, I don't think it's like, is it? Is it that bad? Because how now listen, I'm somebody who supports women sleeping their way to riches and sleeping their way to the top. I'm, I'm very, very supportive of it. The morality of it is shaky, but who cares? But I don't think it's great when the people who do that look down on the people who don't because the people who don't are not making that much money. Like, this idea that making as much money as possible from something makes the thing okay is crazy. How many people's boyfriends or how many people's boyfriends can actually like, okay, buy them a car, buy Me them a though. house? You see, when it comes to influencers and their secrets, all that needs to happen right now is for one of them to repent. That's all that we need. As soon as the spirit of the Lord touches any of them, all the secrets will come out. We will hear everything. It will all flow. We were all here when it happened before. With, with, uh, you guys remember that? You remember that one? For years, it was, I make my own money. I do everything myself. The moment the spirit of the Lord came into the team. <laughs> and then we got to the name that will always be mentioned when a fear or is anywhere. Did you pull dates? Do we date? Did yes. you go theater date? No. <sighs> Nah. Nah. You see, we all know the answer, but we can't say it yet because we don't have money for court. That guy does James Gardner. Did you end James Gardner date? Ah, why? Why? Oh, if you are, why do you make that face? You don't like James Gardner, the, the star of A Taste of Sin? You don't like him? Because I support you, okay? For being in that movie and doing that thing, I support you for that face. A Taste of Sin. It was just a friendship ship. Okay. <laughs> I really you wanted, sleep over I wanted to him. Sleep over where? When you're cuddling, kakra. No. Huh. <sighs> You see, you are asking us to do the impossible. You are asking us to believe that a rapper and a socialite who looks like you and has the kind of body you have were just friends. We never like dated. So wait, oh, okay, we okay. never had sexual relations. You, uh, a situation like this and you want me to believe that afro Penis was unemployed? Madam, come again. That afro Penis is going to be gainfully employed inside that afro Punani. What, what are you talking about? Okay, you can say you didn't date, but no sexual relations. Do you think that we are children? Like, do you think that people watching this are five years old? Come on. And then they mentioned this guy called Revelo. Now, I didn't know about this whole thing before. I didn't know this, who this guy was. Oh, don't be shy. Princess it wasn't like you and Revelo. Wow. <laughs> but he's very important because of what Ephia says in another part of the podcast. Because you are very sexy, right? You know, you, you are very unapologetically sexy. Mm -hmm. So everybody thinks, oh, yeah, shaw kakra. Mm -hmm. Do you? Hey, me, me, come here, shaw, and come into your home. Me. Come here, shaw, I got $50,000 a pop. $50,000 a pop. <laughs> $50,000 a pop. $50k for just one pop of the Afro Punani, you are crazy. At least one week of pops and you have to drop your kidney after you are done, before you come home. 50 k a pop, you are consenting to everything in this world, every possible thing, like the things they do in Dubai. Sometimes not with the human beings. But now we have to go back to the Revelo guy because not only at that point, but throughout the podcast, she kept beating down the price of the, the, the 50k price. She said so many things that beat the price down so much, I couldn't believe it. Revelo. And you just brought up some memories. Yeah. Oh. Like, I had his name tatted on my... Oh. What? He broke up with me two weeks after I got his name tatted on my... Why? 
He saw me doing the tattoo. Jesus. The power of Afro Bernese. Let's all say it together one more time. The power of Afro Bernese. <laughs> he got a tattoo of the guy, and the guy was there when she was getting it, and then he broke up with her two weeks later. And you say what? 50k a pop? <laughs> and listen, they brought up the money situation. So this is pure business. I'm just thinking pure business wise. If he left like that, then I'm doubting the power of the Afro Punani. Okay, I'm doubting that it's actually worth 50k a pop. Obviously, there's no way I can find out because. I don't have 50k a pop. Also, let's remember, this is hypothetical. She's not saying she does it. She's saying if she was doing it, she would charge 50k a pop. So please, is that your last price? Please calm down small because 50k a pop, yeah. Anyway, there are people who have that kind of money who would pay for that kind of thing. People pay for it. It's, it's like the thing that's happening. Some people pay way more money for a pop and a shit. And I don't mean that metaphorically. They're fighting. There's a fight outside. I'm coming. Oh, I missed the fight. But I look like a typical Ghanaian fight where... They threaten each other, but they don't do anything. Last thing I heard was stupid guy, and then they, they both went away. Ah, Charlie, it's okay. Let's continue. Ah, 50k a pop. So later on, she said another story about some guy she was dating. The Aww. secret relationship I was cooking for him and his 10 friends. Hey. <laughs> ah, ah, and you want 50k a pop? You are cooking for 10 friends? I'll go to America. I'll shop in Zara. Like, I'll buy him stuff. I'll come back. A, a, a suitcase for him, a suitcase for me. Like, wait a minute. So you were losing money before for some Afro Bernese? And now you're saying 50k a pop? Like, it was that deep. Like, I'll put fuel in his what car. What was he doing for you? Oh, did me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, if you are. No, 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 no. You have to calm down. You have to calm down. The price has to calm down. You have to shave off 40k from the price. You were buying things from Zara and bringing it all for Afro Bernies. And you want people to pay up 50k a pop. <laughs> did, you, did, you, did you put it to break TVs? Because unless that's... Or picture frame. All the thing you was breaking was my back. <laughs> and you were not even breaking even on your money. What kind of business is that? No, 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 no. Bring the price down. 3k a pop, 3k a pop, I understand. And then if you go back a little bit, she said something over there to them. I was like, what are you talking about? Even if, let's say, like, I was actually, and so, like, <laughs> whose who business is it? Yeah. All of us. It's everybody's business. That is the business of a shower. And now I'm inclined to believe that she's not doing a shower because she does not understand the business. If you're doing that business, you are for sale. So it's everybody's business. Anybody can be a customer. <laughs> Whose business is it? Yeah. Why are you clocking my, my coochie? Because your coochie is on the clock. You clock in at, at 9 p.m. and you clock out at 5 a.m. That is the business. That, no, if you if has no, if you doesn't do a shower, she doesn't understand the business. She doesn't do it. And so now we get to Gisela's story. And at that time in 2019, I was right in the middle of all of this in some weird way. Like you were mentioning about your ex boyfriend. Oh my god. What's his name again? I don't know his name. No, 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 a couple of months before the whole thing happened. Now, I mentioned before that Gisela and I were in the same hostel. Now, we didn't know each other. Like, we never spoke or anything. I think I had a friend who was dating one of their friends, something like that. But that was it. And I was very invisible at that time. Nobody really knew who I was. Unless I was carrying my guitar at my back. Then I was visible. And one night, I was coming from a gig. I was climbing up the stairs to my room. And then I saw this guy, a very light-skinned guy. He looks like... Um, like AKA the rapper, RIP. I was passing and then he called me and said, yo, do you play guitar? People always like to ask if you play guitar when they see you holding the guitar and it's because of the boys who don't play guitar but carry it everywhere in town like they can play but I, I digress. So he said, oh nice, I do music too. Like, let me take your number, we can, we can work on something. I was like, cool. So we exchanged numbers. Now we never really worked on any music. I think he sent me some song, I sent him some beat or something, but we never really did anything together. Now this guy, I don't know where he's from. I don't know his family. I don't know what he does. But he was rich as fuck. Like, he was always posting money, always posting crazy trips. Like, he was living the life. I'm sure he still is. And so one time, I remember this like it was yesterday. This guy posted himself in a hotel in Nigeria. It was, this, it was in this crazy nice hotel. But he posts these things all the time. So I thought it was just normal until I went on Twitter. And... <laughs> you know, you, you are in a relationship with somebody and you guys are... Um together all the time. You talk all the time. So at what point did he start another relationship with someone else? Yeah. Hey, you don't know. <laughs> yeah. hey, the, person no, now I know. the person was in Nigeria. The person was in Nigeria. Like, you and I still don't understand how the thing became so big, but everybody was talking about it. And I didn't even know it was the hair. I didn't know it was the girl in the hostel that was going through the thing. Until I saw a picture, I was like, oh shit. It's a cute girl I saw with a very strict mom. That's crazy, bro. So it turns out she and the guy were dating. The guy had gone to Nigeria and he had posted some snaps of him and some other girl. Everybody was coming for Gisela and Gisela was defending the guy. Like, I thought I, I, was, at like, all. I was defending her. When you started uh -huh. defending him, I just closed my eyes. <laughs> I remember one tweet. I remember this tweet very well. Somebody said, 
So you so he lets this short guy cheat on you. The guy's very short. And then Gisela said, when he stands on his money, he's much taller than you. I was like, wow, this girl is a fighter. <laughs> now, I would have said his name because he makes music, but he hasn't dubbed music in the last four or five years, ever since the thing happened. So I don't know. I don't I don't think it's important. He's very rich. I'm sure he's very fine right now. I still don't want to be known as that girl who was cheated on on Twitter. Because that boy, like, now I look back and I'm like, what the fuck, Gisela? And the funny thing is, one time before the drama happened, my roommate and I were standing on the balcony where we saw the guy going to Gisela's room. And my guy said something like, this guy, if you are dating him, you have to know that you are not the only one that he's chopping. You are, you, are, you are sharing him, no matter what. Across to the end, they began talking about if he had just activism. And then over here, they said another thing that made me go, hey. Bro, it's so expensive. expensive. Even Kenke is expensive so now. Expensive. I heard Piotr is 50 pesos exactly. now. Exactly. Hey, you heard. You heard it. Like, you don't, you don't buy you don't buy some. Eh? Wow, these girls are so rich that my lifestyle, my daily lifestyle is a rumor to them. It's, it's news. It means that they, they they made so much money in 2019 that they blacked out during the 20 pesos era. And so, and then over here, Gisela says that uh, uh, it used to be 10 pesos. 50 pesos for one. Yeah, that's insane. It used to be so like when 10 you, pesos. When you have to wow. We need to work harder. I need to, I need to, I need to be dropping 16 videos a day because what? <laughs> Before that, she said that she wonders how the masons and things, they buy food to eat. <laughs> These masons, you know, the people who are in the low income jobs, like what do they eat in a day? Yeah. Hey, Chane, it's, it's a, their lifestyle is a documentary. It's a documentary about hunger. What? Madam, they eat why? They buy food. They can't buy food for thousand cities, but they buy food. $50,000 a pack. I still want to ask you to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. I will ask you to leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what you think about the podcast. Uh, they say they're doing it every week. <laughs> oh, we will be here. We will be here every week. We will be here. I really, really love these podcasts because they expose society in many, many ways. People claim that they don't want them, but then, have you seen the views on the thing in 24 hours? Crazy. Truthfully, it was a fun conversation that was very interesting to watch, just for entertainment. And I really love it, but I still don't love it as much as I love you guys. And I'll see you guys soon in another video. Sing the song. never ever ask you to like and subscribe. But you go fish share my video if you know you're feeling my fight. People are gonna never ever ask you to like and subscribe But you go fish share my video